Jesus said, not everybody that says, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. And he said, as a matter of fact, at one point, he said, why do you call me Lord and don't do what I say to do? Now, Jesus came for a specific reason in the flesh, had to come in the flesh, do what he did, had to be killed, had to be crucified, had to die, had to be buried, had to be raised again so that he could accomplish the will of God. All of that, see, Jesus didn't finish the work totally on the cross. Even though he said it is finished, he wasn't talking about God's plan. He was talking about the old covenant coming into the new covenant. And so when he said that's finished, he said man trying to live by certain rules and that kind of thing to attain rightness with God, that's over. He said now man's sins being uh, remembered every year and having to have the blood of bulls and goats and cover them again, that's over. He said what he came to do, and you have to realize what he came to do, he did and then he started when he rose from the dead. Because his job at that point was to go back to the Father and then send the Spirit back into each and every one of us to duplicate himself so that the devil wasn't just dealing with one Jesus, so that the devil would be dealing with millions of Jesuses. Amen? Now, for the most part, the church doesn't see that. For the most part, the church acts As old covenant saints, they do what old covenant saints did. The Bible is very clear that we now we know no man after the flesh, and yet most of Christianity is based on the flesh, as we see it. I should say churchianity because that would differentiate between true Christianity and then what you see a lot of times in the church. For the last, well, what got me involved, of course, was a need for healing for my own daughter. But that just started the journey. And then it morphed into how to minister healing, not the way we saw it before, but the way Jesus did it. And then even going beyond that of how he did it, right? Now, in saying all that, that means that there has to come a point where we switch and we quit being like old covenant saints that has a God somewhere out there. One that doesn't have an image because we don't make images of him. But he's out there somewhere and we're praying to him and we're going through rituals to recognize him. See, that's not New Testament Christianity. New Testament Christianity is the spirit of God coming in and making a person his habitation where God lives with us. We don't have a God out there. We have a God in here, that he dwells within us. Now, understand, we're, he's there, and we're there with him, and we're here, and he's here with us. Amen? So I'm not saying that there's, you know, that there's not a heaven, and there's, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that we have to quit thinking about being like Old Testament saints and trying to get God to do something. And we need to recognize who we are in Christ but most importantly, who he is in us. Now, for the most part, that's not the way church has gone. You know, there's an old saying that an evangelist is just one beggar telling another beggar where there's bread. Sounds good, sounds real humble, sounds real religious. It's not accurate, right? Why? Because I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. But yet every day, every Sunday especially, we have God's seed begging bread. Now, what is the bread? Well, the children's bread, according to Jesus, was freedom, deliverance, healing. That's what he told the Syrophoenician woman. He said, it's not right to give the children's bread to the dogs. And yet we've got children who are begging bread every Sunday. Rather than recognizing that we are supposed to be the ones that are breaking the bread and handing it out. That we're not beggars, we're not looking, oh God, please, nope, that's not who we are. We are here as representatives, as substitutes for Jesus. We have everything that Jesus had. 
because he said he didn't even do the works. He said it was the spirit of his father in him that did it. And Jesus said, it's better for you that I go to my father, because if I don't go to my father, then I cannot send the spirit back. And that spirit is the same spirit by which he did the works. And that spirit is the spirit that lives in us today. Amen?